Given the fact that marriage was so important in terms of distribution of benefits, and mm -hmm. we're not even into the 1930s mm -hmm. yet, bring us up to the 1920s when some women at least begin to flout marriage and yes. decide that they're not interested in marriage. Even if they're interested in living with men, they're still not interested in marriage. Yeah, well, there are always some small group of women who refuse to marry in the 19th century because it compromises their individuality, their independence, both economic and simply in terms of their subjectivity and where they give their attention. But it does become much more uh, trendy, let's say, in the 20th century. However, marriage itself becomes, uh, has more capability of being an equalitarian institution by the 20th century. Because one thing that um, a variety of factors conspire to enable by uh, 1900 or so for in almost every state is that married women no longer are bound property-wise to their husbands. That is, they can have their own independent property. In most states, they can also earn their own wages and keep them themselves. And in the longer past, that had not been true. So that the notion that there could be a marriage in which both parties earned money, had careers, the two-career marriage as an ideal is born and very actively pursued in the 1920s. So that I would say a more important phenomenon in the 20s is this notion of the two-career marriage that would really renovate the mm. ideal of marriage and along with the vote should mean that there are two full citizens in the marriage. However, it, uh, once the Depression hit, this ideal became almost impossible to enact because right. there were so many discriminatory laws preventing married women from getting or keeping their jobs. And so it was a kind of advocacy that later, of course, came back in the 70s, along with a much more powerful critique of marriage as an institution. Because I, I, there were many people who criticized marriage in the 20s, but it, I don't think of it as a period of strong marriage critique compared mm. to some other periods of time, including the 1890s and the 1970s. And the 1970s. Because what, what rose instead is a kind of utopian notion of marriage that would enable two full individual citizens to marry and have children and, and have this bond that they uh, voluntarily choose to, to have between them and be full individuals. But it was, it was premature, one might say.